Precious Lord Jesus, would you please follow up on that last message about suicide and give us advice on how to restore our lives when everything seems lost? Amen. Well, he began immediately, and we didn't want the other message to be too long, so uh, instead of tagging it on to that one, I'm doing a separate one. And we may break it into a series if it gets to be more. It's really up to him. And this is a message that follows the one on suicide to give hope and what exactly can be done when you're at that point in your life. Jesus began, You are wanting to end your life because you cannot see beyond your problems and the troubles that surround you in the world. The truth is, you haven't even begun to live your life yet. The gifts I embedded in you at your birth have not begun to be used. There are layers and layers and layers of gifts in your spirits, gifts of joy, perseverance, accomplishment, divine appointments, open doors, souls that were born to be your marriage partner. All of this and more than you can even imagine await you in your lives. But that requires your cooperation. Many times I lead you in the right direction. While you are thinking of one outcome, I have something that is so much better than your outcome. Many of you are suicidal because you've been listening to music Satan created through unsuspecting artists to lead you to suicide. Why would they do that? Because this generation right now is an anointed generation full of gifts, and Satan fears you growing up to adulthood and becoming a threat to him by restoring souls who also have given up hope. These are lies, I tell you, all of them lies. Consider this, my children. You are ready to throw away the life I gave you. Why not throw away your self-will to end your life and instead give it to me to dispose of it any way I want to? Therefore, if physical death is what you need, it will happen. If movie making or writing is your gift, I will make that happen. If finding the love of your life is what will make you happy, I will see to it that you meet and recognize them for who they are. What I am saying to you is that you cannot lose by giving up your life and free will to me, because I will make it the most beautiful life you thought you could ever have. I will heal all the broken places. I will restore all the gifts. I will send angels into your lives to help you. I will instruct you in basic skills that will enable you to flourish and follow your path in life without giving up. Those deep wounds in your souls will be healed when you bring them to me, for I have medicine you know not of. People will begin to come into your life that are good and helpful, and I will even weed out the bad apples that do not understand this life of serving me. I will expose all the lies you've been fed in the media, all the lies you've been fed about me that were created to cause you to give up. You will see how you've been duped by the modern culture and the mask will be pulled away and you will see all the opportunities lying before you. Giving me your life releases you to the highest level of fulfillment a soul is capable of in their lifetimes. Why? Because you were created by my Father, and only we know the destiny you were created for. Everything in your life you have experienced, both the bad and the good, were allowed to prepare you for your mission, and it will be a mission you love even the really painful experiences that I did not send, that Satan sent, will be turned around to your good and the good of your friends and those who find themselves in the very same situations you overcame with me standing beside you. Closing the doors of evil and opening the doors to all that is good and needful in your life. And how will I do this? I will communicate in your heart, dear one. 
you will feel good about some opportunities and feel bad about others. I will give you the wisdom to spot lies and empty promises that will cheat you out of life and steal your destiny. Yes, Satan wants to steal your destiny, but if you give your life to me and abide by my rules, he will not succeed, but you will overcome his traps and tricks. What, you ask, do I require? My beloved one, seek me in prayer. Open your heart and pour it out to me so that you can receive the good counsel I will give you. You may write down what's on your heart, on the computer, or in a journal, like a letter to a close friend. And when you are done, you may feel or sense words coming to you that are not from yourself. Typically, I will reach out and say something that is very clear in your mind. If you write that down and believe it, I will continue. And before you know it, you and I will have a real working relationship. You were born for this. You were born for greater things. So don't throw your life away. Give it to me, and I will make possible what you thought was impossible. He continued, You will hear a voice in your heart. This is the way. Walk in it. And you will know it is my voice because I promised my sheep hear my voice. You will walk in that way and it will not always be easy. But I will teach you how to overcome Satan's fury that you gave your life to me. He will in no way succeed if you hold to my ways. When you are in your darkest moment, you will seek me and find me. It may very well be on this channel or on heartdwellers.org website where you realize I am talking to you and you're getting a confirmation. Okay, now I just want to take a moment here and say, uh, just as an aside, our website, uh, there's a page called Ramos, Getting a Word from the Lord. On this page are over a thousand words of counsel, randomly arranged, so that when you click on the Rhema button or Rhema message button, a message will pop up and teach you what God has said to me about a similar circumstance in my life. In this way, you can have instant guidance. I believe we now have about 2,000 teachings the Lord has given me to pass through the deep waters when I didn't have a clue as to what to do. And just pray to the Holy Spirit, Please bring up a message for the hour I am in. And not only are there messages, but there are also holy words like persevere, or I am with you, or more to come, or I bless and love you, I will guide you. Things like that, very short words of encouragement, and then selections out of all the message the Lord has ever given me, which is probably going to cover about seven years. In this way, you can have instant guidance if you're on the internet. It will shock you that I am always aware of everything you're going through and that I have an answer. I want to explain prayer to you. Simply, if you recognize that I am God, come to me in faith with humility, believing I care about you and your special problems and obstacles. Come to me and spill your guts. In other words, no affectations, nothing about being proper. Just gut it out and tell me how you feel and what is troubling you. I may even speak to you right there and then. I may put a word in your mind, or you may get a rhema message. Now, rhema uh, is Latin for an illuminated word illuminated so that it speaks to your particular situation. It's not prophecy, it's a word, a word of knowledge to help you in a moment through a tight situation. What does my voice sound like? It sounds very much like your own mind. It is very quiet, a little distant, almost like a whisper. But when you connect with a word that you suspect might be me, continue to listen and write down what you hear until it stops. Then answer me with your very own thoughts. Later you will want to discern if that voice is from me or Satan, 
or just yourself, and Mother Claire has done messages on how to spot a lie and discernment. Listen to those, and you will quickly learn how to recognize an imitation voice. Hallmarks of a lying spirit. You will feel badly about the message, or you may feel proud and prideful that you're better than someone else. You may even be fearful or upset. The message will put blame on someone else or talk badly about someone else. You will feel ill at ease about the solution offered. You will judge or resent others. You will be prompted to lie, cheat, or do something wrong. A word of caution. When you've been hurt by someone or something, you will tend towards rejecting them, discrediting them, finding fault, and gossiping about them. You will not feel the mercy and good fruits that come from the Holy Spirit. You may even be tormented with negative thoughts that open the door for arguments and strife with those around you. When you hear my voice, you will feel a deep peace and joy that I actually spoke to you. You will feel a release from your burden, either through having the problem solved or just turning it over to me who has the solution. You will not feel impatient or grinding anxiety, needing to push those around you. Be still and know that I am God. And here I want to say that scriptures are very important here. You can open your Bible prayerfully and read the two pages that are put before you. And when you see something that stands out to you that relates to the situation you're in, you may feel a quickening in your spirit, in your heart. Wow, this is from the Lord. This is exactly what I'm going through. And that's how you discern a word from the scriptures. That's a lot harder to do because there's so many things on the two pages. But we also use a book called the Bible Promise Book. And that has different subjects. And we will open that prayerfully and the Lord will give us wisdom and direction through that very handy book. Beloved ones, I have been speaking to you all your lives. Now you will recognize my voice, and that will give you faith and confidence that you are truly loved, that you are important and beautiful to me, because I created you beautiful, and that I'm watching over you and have answers to every dilemma in your life. So please come to me. Come to me expecting to hear from me. Read between the lines in the scriptures or in a holy book. Watch for holy signs, like a heart. Maybe a heart rock will show up, or a heart leaf. Or maybe you'll cut a tomato and have a great big heart. Uh, there'll be little signs that I send you to verify that truly it is me speaking to you, and that I have plotted the way out of this darkness and into the light. All you have to do is give your life to me and trust me. And that was the end of his message. Thank you, heart dwellers. Thank you for checking in with us. And I want to tell you also that there is a word out that there's supposed to be a nasty false flag on Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th. So please be praying against that. God bless you.